Good morning, precious. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <clears throat> what huh? How you doing, baby? Happy Sunday. And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shaw Kenya, when you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shaw Kenya, and hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos, and if you see anything that you like, just hit share. Y'all know I was trying to be famous for the end of the year. This is the last damn day for y'all to make me go viral, for you to make me famous. Do what you do today. Share at least one of my videos. And I don't want you to share everything I share because I was looking at my page and I share a lot. Like every time I see something that's funny, informative. It was, I was looking for a video to show somebody and I had to go through so much stuff to get to it that I get it. I get it. Shakane, you got so much stuff going on. You got to, I get it. But the things that I do want y'all to share is Motor City Radio, of course, because that's a, a platform for black-owned businesses, for our people. I, I do want you to promote my radio show. I do. And, and, and don't feel bad about promoting it because it is an award-winning show. Just understand that. Yeah, I just got an award not too long ago for it being the longest-running show on the Vent Radio Network. So, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So share that. Definitely share Coffee and Conversation. Whether it be for the, from the YouTube page or from my own page, Coffee and Conversation, or my live. Please share Coffee and Conversation. And it would be nice if you would share everything from the Attitude Adjustment Youth Program. Yep, it would be nice if you did that. It would. Because that right there is a program that services children in the community with behavioral issues. I'm quite sure you know somebody that knows somebody that got a child that can benefit from the program. I'm quite sure. So just spreading the word and, and sharing that, I, I would love that. And then, I'm just a girl. You don't have to share that page, but you can because I do make money out here painting and drywalling. So it's definitely a business, you know, marketing tool if you did share it for me, considering I'm a woman and I'm out here doing that type of work. I'm tearing down walls and building them back up. It would be nice if you shared that too. But everything else, you ain't got to share everything. <laughs> you ain't got to share everything else on here. But y'all, yesterday... When I was talking to y'all about um, the things you should be looking for to see if your child is being abused or your child is being manipulated by whoever, um, I told you certain signs and then I have got a brain fart. And I was just going to say that when we talk about ADHD tomorrow and when we talk about autism, I want you to look for some signs as well. But I had got a brain fart yesterday and I didn't finish my sentence. So I just wanted to make sure it wasn't nothing major that I was missing to tell y'all. And it wasn't. It was just the signs to look for. And we're going to discuss them tomorrow. Yeah, it's all good. So, how's your circle? Your circle of people. I know we're going into this new year. I know what that circle look like. What your support system look like? Your team. Do you have a team? Do you have a squad? You got people that's that's in your corner that's supporting you, that's pushing you, trying to get you to the next level. That they, they see where you going, they see your vision. Or and are you surrounding yourself with like-minded people? People that's doing it too. They are here, they trying to get it. They yeah. That's what your circle should be consistent of. So in going through your circle, are you guys pouring into one another? I'm sorry, I'm putting my sugar in my coffee. Are you guys growing within the circle? Is the circle growing itself? Have y'all all met new people and brought them around one another and now you guys got somewhat of a network or organization or, you know, a team of people that's doing the same thing or helping one another build? Um, are you going hard for the people in your circle? Yeah, whatever your man's doing. You talking about it when you out in public, when you kicking it with different people. I hope y'all ain't see that little circle on my head. Because I'm about to take this out. So, yeah, do you 
Do you promote them when you out? Do you hype them up? Do you let people know what they doing? Do you connect them with the right people to help them get to wherever they trying to go? Good morning, Rodney. Welcome to the party. You like a first time caller, baby. I hope you come back. Yeah. Do you is that is that what you guys are doing in, in your circle? Yeah. Well, a couple things. Well, another question. If you're going hard for the people in your circle, are the people going hard for you? Those same people? Are they out there hyping your name up? Because remember, I told y'all how I, I found out when nobody, when nobody hyping me up like that. But they was making it seem as if they was, you know, but they wasn't hyping you up. Like, like, is your people going hard for you? Like, you show up all the time? Do they show up for you? You know, you promoting and talking about them? Are they talking about you and what you do? Yeah, the people in your circle. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to name a couple things today because I don't know how you're going to take this message. I don't know how it's going to affect you, hit you, if it affects you at all. You know, it's a couple things that you might be able to take from this. But it's a couple things that I have been doing after I did my self-reflecting that has helped me along the way not be so stressed <laughs> when people don't respond how I want them to, when they don't do the stuff that I feel like they should do for me. Yeah, I try not to get upset with them. Yep, um... Especially if it's a situation where you know you've done. So, you you know, I guess people say don't look for the same in people. Eh, somewhere alone up in them lines. Yeah. Um. Like like me, my perspective on, on things is like if I do this for you. Now, trust me. Let me start off by saying when you do stuff for people, you do it out the kindness of your heart. Hey, Nisi Poo, how you feel? I hope you feel better, baby. If it's a cold chicken noodle soup and orange juice, always do the trick. Uh, anything else? Drink a burners and do number two. <laughs> That's all that advice I got for you today. <laughs> so, yeah, but I hope you feel better, baby. Yeah, so if it's, you know, you do stuff for people out the kindness of your heart. Yes, true. True, true, true. I believe that. But in certain circles and scenarios, especially if it's like businesses on the line, finances, money, you know, and certain support and stuff is needed. When you get to stuff like that, I, I feel like a, some type of bartering situation should be put in place. You know, you do this for me, I do that for you type situation. Trading off on, on what you guys do, your skills. And also, if you're supporting them, I feel like you should be getting that same support back. I don't look at that as the same as you doing it out the kindness of your heart. Seeing, I look at it as if you building up some type of rapport or some type of something in the bank to where when you need... It, they should be able to pop out for you. Because they like, you know what? You did. Happy New Year to you, baby. And I love you more. Yes, I love you more. I got to get over there and spend some time with you and them babies. Uh, auntie just working like a... Auntie working. That's all I can say right now. But it's going to come a time. <laughs> well, auntie got some time to come over there and just chill. And they got to worry about nothing. It's coming, baby. Trust me, it's coming. So... Yeah, it should be a build up. Like if you got somebody that's doing something, you you always shopping with them or you always referring their business to people for people to shop. You always going live. You always doing stuff to promote and support. It should come back a little bit in different ways. Even if y'all not doing the same thing. I'm a firm believer in that. I'm a firm believer in that. But everybody don't believe that. Everybody ain't on the same page when it comes with that. And I don't understand why. I try to think of reasons why somebody wouldn't want to support somebody that's supporting them. Like, I, you know, I come up with a... I, I'm going to name them probably throughout this look. Because I'm trying to stick to, stick to the um, script. Even though I got arrows going to and from I'm trying to stick to the script. Yeah, but I feel like it should be a build. So, it shouldn't be a hesitation there. It shouldn't be, you know. So, it should be automatic. Yep, it should be automatic. Um, I don't think... Some people won't because they don't feel... I've realized. They don't feel obligated. I know that's a shocker, isn't it? Because <laughs> if they're in your circle and they're your peeps, why wouldn't they feel obligated to do certain stuff for you? You know what I mean? So, yeah, some of them don't feel obligated. Some of them think that, I mean, I, I don't think people be wanting to see you do better than them. Like, I, 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 I be thinking they probably think you're going to steal their shine or something if you talk about them. I be thinking people sometimes might think you be jocking or like that we used to use back in the day. <laughs> jocking or, or group being a groupie or something if you talking about them or whatever, you know. But when you're in your, your circle of friends, I mean, and these your peeps, like, you should be out there uh, being a groupie. And I wouldn't call it being a groupie. I would call it their PR person. 
And I know you're not getting paid for it. I know you're not, I know you're not getting paid for it. But this is what you do. This is how you give back. This is how you pour into the circle. This is how you pour into your people. Yeah, you are that PR person when you out in public. You hear somebody talking about something that your peeps is doing, you automatically plug them in. It's what I'm thinking, how things should go. This is in my world. You know, people think I'm crazy, so I'm in my own day. I think I'm mentally challenged. I need some help. So this is just in my world. In my world, yeah, if I hear somebody talking about somebody doing this, they they looking for some shoes, or they looking for, oh, I got a designer for you, or I know somebody that's doing that, and I'll drop a name or two. Yeah, if they're looking for somebody to do plumbing, I'm going to drop a name. They're looking for an electrician. I'm going to tag you. I'm gonna, this is what I feel support is. You know what I mean? So pushing your people, putting them out there, promoting them, talking about something. I, t I got a radio show, and can you believe leave i talk about other people's radio shows when i be promoting when i see people out i tell them about my show i tell them how they can come on my show how they can be a guest i tell them how much i charge for them to come on and be a guest you know and then i'll talk about some other outlets especially if it's people that come on on different days than i come on different times that i come on you know i'm definitely gonna push you out there because first of all i'm trying to help you market what you're doing my platform is not enough you need to be everywhere you need to be seen you need to be heard on everybody's platform so if it's anybody i know i'm gonna refer you i'm not looking at them as competition nope i'm not now if you come on at friday at seven o'clock i might not refer you because i'm gonna want them to come on on my show but then again i still might because that's just one friday it's not like they're coming on my show every Friday. So maybe if they come on my show this Friday, they come on yours next Friday. So that's how I operate. That's how I work. And that's how I would think all of us will operate and work. But we don't. We don't. So I'm realizing that. And I'm finding out the people in my circle that don't feel obligated to do that for me. Who don't feel obligated to talk about what I'm doing. Who don't feel obligated to be my PR person. And, 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 and I get that. And usually if you go through your garden which is your circle, and get to looking for weeds and whatnot to pull out your garden, most likely it's going to be people that's been in your life for a long time. Most likely it's going to be people, unfortunately, it's going to be people that you got to bond with, people that you love, people that you got a relationship with, family maybe, I don't know, but it's people that's been in your world. So you're going to be hesitant to pull them from the garden, you know what I mean? But understand who they are and accept them for who they are. And know if they feel obligated to share your stuff and support you. You got to know that. You got to know that. And it's fine. And it's fine. Because once you find out if they're not obligated or not, chances are they're doing the bare minimum for you. That that I can guarantee. They're probably doing the bare minimum for you. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm going to give you a little. I saw you can identify them. You can identify some of them. People you got to ask. People in your circle know what you're doing. They know what you're into. They know what you And this is a long one because this is New Year's Eve. We're going to the New Year, so you're going to have to deal with it or log off. Yeah. yeah you, you shouldn't have to ask. That's just like in a relationship. A woman. I don't feel like a woman should have to ask her man for nothing. I, that's just that's just me. I call it what you want. Some people say I'm. I, I call it what you want, baby. But as a woman, I don't have to. I'm not going to ask no man for nothing. If we together, you already know what I'm dealing with. You know my struggles. You know what's going on with us in the house. I mean, I shouldn't have to ask you for what I need. You should already know, and you're going to take care of it. It's what, yeah. So people, the same as people in your circle. So if you have to ask them to share your stuff, if you have to ask them to tell people to do this, if you got to ask them, that's an indicator. Number two is when you do ask them and they give a sigh or it's hesitation, <laughs> That's a good indicator. They're not, they not obligated. And number three, if they got an excuse every time you ask them to do something for you. Yep. I don't know if you want to pluck them out your garden, but definitely put them in the weed patch because they're not obligated to do that for you. Yep. So, right there, y'all got a difference in values. So, I'm going to be honest with you. Depending on how you cut, in most cases, you might want to just pluck them on out and be done with them, you know. But like I said, a lot of these people is people that you probably not had in your life for a long time, so it might be a level of difficulty to do so. But yeah, because y'all right there got a difference in values as far as support goes. Yeah, you going hard for them, but they're not going hard for you. So right there, that's enough reason really to get rid of them. But if you choose to keep them, just understand who you're dealing with and who you have on your team. <laughs> understand and accept them for who they are. Know that they're not going to go that extra mile for you. No, they're not going to do that. So just accept them and, and you will be okay. You will be okay. So what I started doing is I started lowering my expectations of people. <laughs> hey.
And this was difficult because I do so much. So my standards are set high when it comes to people because I go hard for you. You know what I mean? If I'm on your team, I got your back. You getting loyalty from me. You 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 getting support from me. You getting that I'm showing up for you. You getting that if I got you got you getting if I as I go to the top and, and climb the ladder, I'm bringing you with me. This you get all of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm expecting all of that too. So I'm realizing, lower your expectations. That way, if they do do something, it's like, oh, that's what's up, thanks. You know what I mean? Yeah, lower your expectations, that's one. And then, because, yeah, you'll be less likely to be disappointed. You won't be so stressed when they don't do what you ask them to do. Yep, you'll always know to line up somebody else and possibly don't even ask them. You know what I mean? That's why I don't even ask there. Because you already know what's up, you know. Or put them on the bottom of your list if you have to ask. Because they might come through for you. It's just you already know they didn't really want to do it. It's a lot of huffing and puffing as they doing it. So chances are you pretty much like, damn, I don't even want. At this point, I'll do it myself. You know, so, yeah. So just, yeah. So it'll be a bonus if they come through for you. Um, Don't get upset. Um, Okay, I'm going to share a quick story. I was debating if I was going to share it because I don't like talking about my personal conversations and things I'm going through with people without asking their permission first because a lot of people watch me and I don't want them to watch and feel some kind of way like, damn, this bitch, talk, this chick talking about me. Why would she even, excuse me, fix the Jesus Christ show. Yeah, that, you know, so I, and I don't normally, but considering we're talking about this because all this wraps around, you know, keeping you in character. Not allowing somebody to take you out your square, as well as the support and how to give it and what to expect and not to expect, lower your expectations and things of that. Nature. So, like I said, ain't no telling what message you going you gonna to get out of this. Because it's the end of the year. It's the last little coffee and conversation of the year, and I might not even come on tomorrow. So, it is what it is. So, um, how can I start it off? Okay. Person called to let me know where they was at. Somebody that I admire and love was there, right? So, of course, I'm like, well, she is. Show them this pic that I got of me and them. Period. <laughs> Basically, be my PR person for a couple minutes. Yeah, go to my page, show the pic, let them know who I am, get the, get the number if you can. If you can do that, because you there. You know what I'm saying? Call me, they there, can you do that? Automatically... Because at first, it, it, it hit me. It, I missed the fact that who I was talking to. Because <laughs> it, it, this is a person that I'm not going to ask to do nothing for. Because they've already established who they are. I've already accepted who they are. So I'm not even looking for them to do nothing. My expectations is already lowered for them. So, But I was so in the moment because I was geeked up when they told me that this person was there. I'm like, oh my God, can you do this? And I asked. But before I could pull it back, it was already out there. And sure enough, hesitation was there. The sigh was there, and an instant excuse was given, okay? Instantly, it was about to get upset, and I had to bring it back and think about who I was talking to. Okay, yeah, they're not going to do it, so it's all good, you know. So, in order to, and this is another lesson, I don't know if this can be a lesson for you, but I instantly flip it so that I don't get upset. So, instantly, before I can get mad at the fact that you're not going to plug me into somebody that you know I love and admire, and you standing less than two feet away from them, and it ain't like I'm just some rinky-dink type person. I got a radio show. Meaning that this person, I can have them as a guest. They're dealing with children. I deal with children. They can put me in a position to possibly get money for this program that I'm working on. The You Build program that I got going on. The kids. Ain't, ain't no telling where that connection can go considering all the things that I'm doing right now. So you would think if you in my circle and you close to me, it would be a conversation being held as, hey, such and such here. And I've already told them who you are. I've already got their card for you. I've already gave them your number and they should be calling you soon. Or here, yours, there's their information. You should be calling them. That's how that conversation should have went to me. To me. To me. So instead of getting upset, I just looked at it like, okay, well, they did call me to tell me that the person was there. So remember, that was that, that's all they're going to do. Remember, that's the bare minimum. I'll call you and let them know that they're there. So now it's up to you to get your ass up and get dressed and come down here, all the way down here. Whether you got the finances to come or not. If this is your opportunity to meet this person, come on down. And that's fine. The next lesson to learn from that is scale back on your support. Scale back on what you do. That way, when times like this happen, 
It's not so devastating for you. It's not so they should have did this and this. No, because when it comes time for them to want you to show up, you, you might can't do it that day. When they got their hand out for you because they need, you might not have it that day, even if you got it. You understand what I'm saying? You, you might not can't show up to every event for them because you're not gonna, they're not going to do it for you. And I'm not saying take this tone of attitude to everybody. Shit, they ain't going to do it for me. Nope. This is only for people who have proven to you that they're not going to do it for you. They don't have your back in that way. Because these people that you got in your weed patch, you might have to hold on to them because, see, they might be helpful in other ways. They might be resourceful. They might be the type of people that do give you your flowers, even though it's in private. Like, they're never going to publicly say it to people, you know, that you this and do that. But they tell you in private, and it sounds good to hear when they say it, you know. So, it's like they're valuable in different ways. They serve a different purpose. So, sometimes you got to keep it on that level and balance it out a little bit like that, you know. Pull away. And it hurt me to pull away because I love my people so much that I be wanting to support whether they support me or not. And I got to kind of scale back a little bit on that because in the I, I get into the fact of by me doing that of course i'm looking for it too and not getting it so then i hurt myself you know so yeah i just gotta just scale back a little bit so i think i think that was show them i think i have us yep i said that Cause I would expect people to do keep it cool. Like, okay, I said all of that. I'm just trying to make sure I covered everything. So yeah, I guess going into the new year, lower your expectations of people. Cause I don't had you long enough. Um, accept people for who they are. Once they show their true colors, once they show you who they are for real in real life and real time, don't act like you don't see that. You know what I mean? That goes for red flags too. People show you who they are, baby, and they tell you. Don't 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 skip past it. Pay attention and accept them for that if you choose to still have them in your life. And then scale down on the support that you give to people. Yeah. Try to even it up a little bit. Balance it out. Yeah, they only showing up for two games. You only show up for two. <laughs> so tip for tat. <laughs> so y'all, that's it. Happy New Year to everybody. I have enjoyed y'all. Thank you so much for following me, for subscribing to my channel, for sharing my stuff, for the people who have shared it. I appreciate you. It's not taken lightly. Trust and believe that. When I get famous and I'm standing up there, I'm going to name all of y'all names off at the podium. All the people that looked out and shared and supported me throughout the years, guys. So I'm out. Mwah. All right, Facebook, I love y'all. I'm out. I'll let you later.